Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are filming a mukbang. Have we ever done this? Yeah, we, we have. We have done this, but it was very like you, you couldn't see the food. Yeah, you couldn't see the you food. You couldn't see the food. We didn't have it set up sort of like an angle. We have got Luminaire. So much sushi. sushi. I'm actually really excited by it though. Same. Can we lay it out. Yeah, we're gonna lay this all out on the table. So you guys can see, and then we're gonna answer your questions. We've got some juicy kind of girl talk questions, Question. I'd say, like things about us. You guys had a lot to ask. So we're gonna answer them in this video, eat some sushi and just chat. Sorry guys, I'm so hungry, I'm so excited to eat. Where should we lay it? Like, we just lay it in front of us. Like this. Yeah, I like. Yeah? Oh my God, that smells. What is this? What is this? Get more. Oh, that's my seaweed roll. It smells like seaweed. <laughs> oh, cool. this is giving me life. Wow, we've gone for it here. We really have gone for it. You need to try some of the stuff <gasps> I've got as well. Yeah, I'm intrigued by your stuff. Yeah, because it's all veggie, so you can try it. I would say try some guys's, but they're chicken. So don't do that. I'm not gonna try them. Look at this though. Sorry, can we talk about the I kind of just wanna take a picture of it. We've been given four chopsticks and there's two of us. Oh no, stop. They're like, this is stuff that you mouth before. No, honey. This is a meal it's for us. Me. Right. <gasps> Dig in, because I'm oh, hungry. thank you. Let's go for it. Sorry, everyone at home. <laughs> I'm hungry. Honestly, <laughs> we're filming this at 10 p.m. Yeah, we are. After filming two other we're videos. We're gonna have such bad indigestion. We really are, we're gonna go to bed on a full stomach. Oh my gosh, though. Let me get the questionnaires, because oh no. I'm intrigued. Really? Yeah, I really am. It's mm. early on in the year, I can't be dealing with any like, you know. Intense questions, I agree. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right, should we answer our most commonly asked question? What do you think that is, Georgia May? Mm. About about the podcast. Or oh no, no. Okay. Not. Okay. It's about. I made an assumption there. Our loved ones. If they've met, do they like each other? Have they met? That was going to be my second guess. I don't think it'd be the most popular. Is that the most popular? That is the most popular. Are we going to go on double dates? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm really excited about it. Gosh, guys, how much tables have turned since the last time we filmed a video like this? Right. You are so right. Like a lot happened. Yeah. In your life. No. Oh, yours, yeah, but yeah, but like, mm. single Pringle. I'm no longer single if you don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, loads of the questions. I mean, I'm assuming your questions are sort of similar to some of the ones I got. Like, do they like each other? Do you like each other's boyfriends? Yeah, what's your opinion? I've known Brad for as long as I've known Emily, kind of. Like, I literally met Emily on her own, and then I met Brad. Brad cooked you dinner. Like, literally, on the, the second time. You came to the second house. time we met. Mm. Yeah. So I've always loved Brad, like, always liked you guys as a couple. I've just known him for longer, as in the questions are like, do him. you like, like Emily's boyfriend? Well, yeah, like, I've known him for how many years, so mm. of course I like your boyfriend. You know what I mean? It feels so weird, like, thinking back. I know. Like, it was literally the second time we all sat down and had dinner together that oh, I had yeah. cooked. I were. I literally didn't even know you. Mm. You could have been a murderer. Yeah, right. So yeah. good of you, I was in you guys' flat together. True. And I was alone. True. Yeah, Do a gamble, but it paid <laughs> off. So yeah, of course I do. But I think the question is probably more like, do they like each other? Do you like each other? Em has met my boyfriend, Leon, like once, drunk, for so half drunk. an hour, not even half an hour, not even Five half minutes. an hour. Yeah, mm. on a night out. So they haven't, like firstly, they haven't met. And secondly, Em hasn't even met my boyfriend properly, not really. in a normal situation, no. Yeah, which is so weird. So weird, because it's been six months. I know. Like, that actually blows my mind a bit. But it's because you're, you're in London, so like, I will come and like visit you in Central rather than like, I, we haven't really had anything out here yeah. at the moment, like as in going on. I didn't think he was going to be here tonight. Oh, I did say to him that he could have stayed here tonight and he was yeah. like, no, it's fine. Aww. I'll go home. Like, you don't have to go home. I'll go home. I'll leave. <laughs> yeah, I'll go back to my house. <laughs> so yeah, no, of course M will. It's just like, literally just circumstantial. Yeah. A lot, of, by the way, also, sorry if we're speaking with our mouth full, it's kind of the point of my bang. <laughs> but I do apologise because I know it's not the best sound. Um, but yeah, a lot of the questions were like, what do you think of George's boyfriend? I have met him, like we say. Mm, no, huh? I've heard great things, of course. I have no doubt Georgia would be with like the best person she can be. I don't have any negative opinions, mm. obviously, at all. But, yeah, we met. Oh. I was so... I haven't been you were really drunk. Years. You were really drunk. Really, like I was more drunk than you. 
Yeah, M was drunk. And I'm not saying that as in like as in that never happened. No, I'm but, never drunk. No. I don't really know how. Um, it was the wine. There yeah, we had a lot, lot of wine. You mean the day? Mm-hmm. That was true before we even went out. Mm-hmm. Mm. We were literally drinking from like 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. Earlier than that. Mm -hmm. I literally got to your house and we started drinking rose. Mm-hmm. And I was just so it was oh, very much like I was scared to say anything. And he only came, he only turned up at the end of the night. Mm. So it wasn't even like we spent the whole night together because who wasn't there from the beginning? Mm -mm. Do you want any of this, by the way? Like, mm. um, yeah, I found love that. These are um, spring rolls, if you want any of these. Mm. Mm. Really good sushi. Isn't it? Mm. See, when you order it and it's near, it's good. Mm. So we'll meet, we're going to go on double dates. And we'll obviously meet him again. Mm -hmm. We'll all go out okay. together. Everything's good. We just, I don't know why, we've just been busy. Mm -hmm. Things like, people work nine to fives. Yeah, Sorry. the boys work hard. Like, they are at work all the time. So it's not like they can do what we do and just, like, have a jolly on a Wednesday. Yeah, like, you know? brunch. Like, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> can we film us at 10 o'clock at night? Mm. You know what I mean? It's a bit different. I also had another question that was, like, it wasn't really a question to me, but it was more of a statement. Someone said, I think you four should go on holiday and vlog. Oh, my God. I was like, okay. That would be funny. Sorry, this is great. On the camera. That's what I mean. We're getting wow. the colours in and everything. Like, you know. Let us go. I did pay £3.50 for that. That's what? quite a lot, isn't it? For two pieces of, of asparagus on some rice. Shut up. Two, two Three pound fifty. Did mm, think that was quite a lot. Mm, I agree. Are you guys planning any trips together for twenty twenty two? Are we? We don't have any book yet. Do we? Don't. Have we even spoken about it? No, we haven't. That's but very unlike us. To be fair, I don't have a single trip book now. Yeah. Not one. From now to flipping heck. You do. <laughs> I haven't got any. I've got quite a few. That's books. what I mean. Yeah, where am I going to fit in? Well, I'll come and see you. I'll actually mm. come and see you, to be fair. This is the best thing. So, mm. I mentioned in a video recently, this year is like the year that me and Brad are going to go travelling. So, we're just going to be like here, there and everywhere. Mm -hmm. But we've said to all of our friends, like, come and see us. Mm -hmm. Just come out to wherever we are. We're going to rent a villa or whatever it may be. And just get everyone to come to us. What is wrong with me? <laughs> It's so hard. I'm in a brand new cream sweatshirt mm -hmm. that I haven't taken the tag off yet. I don't worry, I'm not returning it. But mm -mm. <laughs> spring roll. A hundred percent. We haven't got any trips. But we yet. don't have any. Yeah, like we've not. But I think that's just because I just got back. Mm. We'll You're going away. away. Because like we just haven't thought about when we're doing this. Putting each other into our schedules. But obviously we're not doing another trip this year. And also I feel like we're very, like when we went to New York, it was literally, we booked it on the Monday and we went on the Friday. That's literally what we do. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I found this flight. Are you around? Oh, yes I am. Like, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. So we're kind of a little bit more impulsive. Try an hour. No, I keep laughing at everything we're saying. Because we're not okay. Mm, no. <laughs> not sure how I feel about that salmon. Really? It's very salmon mm. mm. I like cooked fish, but not when it tastes like the sea. Mm, I do get what you mean. Like when fish tastes like what it smells like. It's a bit off-putting. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Blimmin' <it. laughs> I have just realised why we don't film my bang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one for you. Because oh. I have no idea. Okay. Advice for moving out for the first time to uni. Mm, to uni? Yeah, I've never been, so I wouldn't know. Sorry. Mm. It's probably similar to moving out. Definitely, you've probably still got like advice. Sorry, by the way, guys, I've literally got whiplash and I cannot tell my hair at the moment. <laughs> oh, I'm sat on the wrong side. No, no, you're sat on the. Oh, you are sat on the wrong side. Yeah. Um, I wanted to wipe hair. Yeah. Most of my advice would probably just be like bring your home comforts mm. because that it's just an adjustment. You're going from like obviously living in a house with loads of people to literally a lot of the time being by by yourself in the sense of like your room is just you. And until you've been there for like two or three months when you are using those like communal areas more, it is quite lonely. And that first year is quite lonely and people don't talk about this. It's probably one of the most loneliest out of the three mm -hmm. because in second and third year, you're living in a house with other people most of the time, generally speaking here. So that first year just, you know, especially like me, I was in halls, I wasn't even in a flat. So we literally had halls and then we'd eat dinner and lunch in this big canteen. Right. So it wasn't even like we had an area where we could all hang out. We so literally had to cooked. go to someone's room right. in order to hang out. So you didn't have anything at all? Not like a common, common room. room? We had one common room. It was so hideous and so... Like, no mm. one went in there. No right. one. 
So it did feel, I felt so lonely. I've talked about this a lot in yeah. older videos on my channel, a lot about how lonely first year of uni actually is. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's something people need to talk about more. I was, I'm a party person. Like I'm not someone that doesn't drink, doesn't go out, but I still found it very isolating. Yeah. I think home comforts, um, keeping in contact with, <laughs> keeping in contact, <laughs> keeping in contact with people that like, uh, just maybe still back home as well. FaceTime's the best thing. Yeah. Like, and if you ever feel sad, FaceTime your parents. Or yeah, or your friend. A or friend. Whatever. Like, I had all my photos in my room. I remember, remember from the summer before. I yeah, had like cute. things from home, like all my pillows from home, and just like my little my fridge was full of food that I liked, like little things that made me happy in the day, yeah. if that makes sense. And I also think like speak to someone. Like, if you really feel super isolated and lonely, like do just reach out. But I think my advice, my main advice would be use that first month so well. I didn't use my first month to the best of my ability. I was quite insular. I had a relationship that was going on back home and I, you know, mm -hmm. I just was quite like, you do have to be quite outgoing. You do have to really put yourself out there. You do have to join clubs and things and, mm -hmm. you know, make a real effort, but you can get away with it in that first month. Not that you can't afterwards, but people aren't so judgy about the fact that you're going to go and sit with a random group mm -hmm. because everyone's trying to make friends. Whereas almost once people start to form their cliques and groups, it's a lot harder to infiltrate. Mm -hmm. So that's probably my like key piece of advice. Like if you do want to make friends, you want to be social, like do it early on. Moving out, like, so when me and Brad first moved out, cause to be fair, we, we moved, moved out. Similar. Yeah, when everyone went to uni. Mm -hmm. So I was 19, Brad was 20. Mm -hmm. So if you take in a gap year, that's literally the year that you would then move to uni. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's saying the first week was honestly probably the best mm. and worst week of my life. Mm that I was so scared but so excited. Mm. We moved in over a weekend. And we also moved, like, literally like uni, we moved from Norfolk to London. Like, we mm. moved two hours away from home. Mm. None of our family were really there. My friends were there, because I went to a boarding school, so like, all of my friends, they all literally lived in London. So it was almost like I was moving back to my friends, if that makes sense. Mm, I got you. So it was kind of like, there were areas that felt comfortable, but areas that were so unknown. Mm. And we moved in over the weekend, so my parents moved us in like, on the Saturday. Stayed overnight and then on the Sunday, Brad's parents came up with like our last few bits, stayed with us and then went home. And then when they went home, we literally like walked back upstairs. Like we got back in the lift, went back up to our flat. We both sat on our sofa and just cried. Oh really? Yeah. We were literally like, what have we done? Dumb. Why am I doing this? Like all of that. Because you're so far from home as well. So from far family. from home. Yeah. Everyone's now gone. Like they've got in their cars and they've gone back. Like that's it now. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You, and I think it's the same with uni. You sit in your room and you're like, Dumb. this is it. That's, that's actually such a good point. That, that's a massive thing I would recommend. When your par parents and your family leave and you go back and you sit in your room, get busy. leave. Yeah. Like, get out of your room. Be busy. Go and knock on somebody else's door right then. Make friends, yeah. Be like, hi, like, oh, my parents have just left. Like, what are you doing? Like, You're all in the same Do not even boat. sit there on your own because mm -hmm. that's then when it's going to be like, what? Mm -hmm. That's earth. what we did. We were like, what yeah. have you done? Whereas maybe if you'd gone like straight out for dinner. Or, yeah. And gone and like seen them. You know, yeah. yeah. And just... And then we did that whole week. We like went did out, stuff, so was, yeah, and it was so fine. It's like the first day of school, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it literally is. You go there the first, you have your first wobble, and then you're like, oh, oh. this is actually fine. Mm -hmm. And then it will be the best year of your life. Mm -hmm. This is a fun question. Who gets drunkest on a night out? Me. Mm, me. You. Uh, but we haven't been on a night out, night out in a while. To be fair. Yeah. Emily's been on a few nights out where she's got drunk, must I add. Yeah. Can I try this? I've, I guys, something's happened to me in the last maybe eight months, maybe a year. I have two glasses of wine, like two or three. I went on a night out just before Christmas and I honestly had two or three glasses of Pims or wine. Pim. Sangria, sorry. Whatever they had there, sangria. I'm getting muddled up, flipping out. That was three completely different things. <laughs> I had like three glasses of... Uh, sangria then went to this pub and ordered like one or two drinks paralytic had to be taken home Shut up. had to go home wasn't okay was back in this house by 11 o'clock what happened like what that's like, weird what? very weird when i went on holiday in january with my family honestly was having two or three drinks at dinner was slurring my words was drunk i know so I, I am confused what's happening to me and I'm getting drunk really quickly, really easily. Keep my out now. 
really am. So but I would say more often than not, it's you. Defo. I just hate being hungover. Like, absolutely hate nothing more than being mm. hungover. And most of the time when we're here and we go out, I've then got to drive home. So I think in true. the back of my head, I'm conscious of the fact that you're I not... really don't want to be hungover and driving myself home. That's very true. Anxiety. That is a real thing. For me. It's a, it is a real thing. I honestly think, like, the boys get it, girls get it. I think everyone gets it. Uh, it's honestly one of the worst things. Mm -hmm. Like, there's that feeling when, like, you'd go out with maybe, like, people you didn't know as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm going to just kick my leg over here. No, fine. Maybe if you'd, or you got really drunk in front of, like, someone you liked or someone at your school or, or well, not your school. <laughs> someone at your uni. Your college. Right. <laughs> or whatever. Like, that. I think that's when it was, like the worst mm. or there was someone that I, I hate that friend i'm really sorry if you're that friend but i don't like you i hate that sober friend that's like oh my god you last night mm. you were and they say it once and then they say it twice they say it three times honestly hon if you say it again and then they tell you the whole story and you're like i don't want to I, know. I literally would rather forget about it like if mm. other people can't remember i don't want to remember mm. sometimes i get anxiety not about what i did I just mm. feel anxious the next day. Mm. And I'm sat there like shaking mm. in my living room. Like, mm -hmm. what am I doing? Why am I doing this to myself? Mm. Do you know what I mean? You love a shot as well. 3 a.m. I love a shot. Your not birthday. Not so much regularly, uh, recently, but your birthday last year. Jesus Christ. I couldn't tell you to not take that shot at 4 a.m. when you already had 10. I can't remember my birthday last year. Exactly. Boy, <laughs> It just, it doesn't, it knocks me out now. That, the drinking, drinking. life. Like, I just can't. I agree. Random one. How often do you cry? Random, I know, but me and my besties were discussing. <laughs> I know, every day. Do you? No. You're actually cry. cry yeah. Twice a week. I agree with that. I cry <laughs> Is that day. normal? Is it, or are we weird? <laughs> Twice a week, is that normal? I thought it was quite a lot. Is it? I cried the other night in my bed because I watched... Oh, oh. actually, I could cry now. Okay. It's TikTok. Okay. Which, yeah, probably isn't normal. But I just burped. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was an emotional moment. <laughs> so I didn't want to burp me. But at the same time, I was like, what do I do? And then there was another TikTok and it was about a dog and it was his last day. And oh was... my gosh. Do so an egg. My right, TikTok is enough. out to get me. It is yeah, I, me. my TikTok, why is my TikTok not like that? Mine is literally so not that vibe. See, I wish mine wasn't. No. My few pages is deep and depressing. Oh gosh. Mm. Okay. So yeah, that was the last time I cried. Okay, I, I, I probably quite... Mine's yeah. all dependent on my hormones as well, though. Mm. If I'm, like, pre-period vibes, I probably cry every day at something. Yeah. Like, find something. someone, like, is kind to me in a shop, and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, you know, the most stupid things. So, I don't know. I am quite... Even though I'm Aquarius, I'm very sensitive behind the scenes. Very. That I'd cry alone, is what I mean. Mm. You know, wouldn't gather everyone together and say, crying. I've seen you cry once in my life. Right. In four years. Yeah. Have you ever seen me cry? I think I have. I'm a Pisces. I cry all the time. <laughs> but I think it's healthy. Yeah, I do. Let's cry more. Should we cry right now? Together? Maybe not, but you know, like it's not a bad thing if you cry a lot is what I mean. Yeah, I agree. Like, I once cried because my mum had run out of porridge. I was so due on my period and I really wanted to cry. Because the thing is, you're not actually crying about that. You're just like, it's emotion. a built up emotion. But what I mean yeah. is, is like, yeah, obviously put sometimes things in perspective. But at the same time, like, don't feel ashamed if you cry. Someone said, what was your first girl date? Didn't we go for champagne? On our first, you and me? We went to that Prosecco bar. Oh my gosh, in Westfield. In Westfield. I forgot about that. What our we... first date was, actually, that's the McBurn we filmed. Mm. And McDonald's one. Oh my God, we go. In my flat. Oh my god, I'm dead. If you've seen that, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, really severely sorry. I'm mean, giving advice my like we think was so eyebrows. worldly. Mm. I can't. It was my makeup. My eyebrows were like this. And my outfit. It was everything. Mm -hmm. It was everything, but, you know. But so, then, yeah, we went for Prosecco at that bar. Mm, right, so we first met, if you don't know, we'll just tell the story really quickly. We first met at Jordan Lipscomb, a beauty bay event. Mm -hmm. Met. Wild. Sparks flew. <laughs> And we met up again. And the rest is history. But yeah, again, we did. Again. I guess our gut, I guess our first, like, we did go for dinner. Well, like, a drink for the Jordan Lipscomb event. I don't think yes. Emily actually had a drink because she was I running didn't. late. No, I was running very late. I had late. a couple of drinks. You had a couple of drinks and a couple of pots of guac and chips. Mm hmm. Everyone thought she'd been stood up because mm -hmm. I was so late. To mm. be fair, I was stuck in an Uber for like an hour. Mm. But at least I was setting my standards. Like, mm. You knew what was to come. You were letting me know from the beginning that this is how I roll. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Just FYI, mm -hmm. I'm going to be late That's true. for everything that we ever go to from mm -hmm. now on. Mm -hmm. And was I right? There was a lot of honesty there early on. That's true. So I suppose that was the first date because that yeah. was the first time we ever met. But then we went. Then we went shopping. No, what did we do? We, we filmed those videos. Brunch. We filmed those videos, and then the next time we went to the Gra to Granger. Granger and Co. That was cute. That was a little brunch day. That was cute. And then I don't even know. And then I don't know. And then I, I, on the fourth date, I can't remember. No, obviously wasn't that memorable. Yeah, I, I, just, sorry, it just all like sort of rolled into one. Some people say that. Then I think you probably came to mine and we filmed yeah. videos and things. Yeah, we filmed that Never Have Ever. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, that was intense. We used to film some juicy videos. We used to just honestly air all of our laundry. I think when you have less people watching, sorry it's to say, but I do scary. think it's less frightening, yeah, to just say all the things that have happened in this, that and then the other. Yeah. You forget who's watching. There's less opinions as well. Definitely. More of a close-knit sort of vibe, whereas then you kind of get scared. Well, I think everything is just funny. I mean, like five years ago, let alone like, well, I mean, yeah, three, four years ago, three years ago. Yeah. It just wasn't as like, nothing was taken that seriously. Seriously. It that deep. Like, it was just sort of like, oh, that was a funny video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you they how many people I've sat with. Oh, oh, that was yeah, a funny no video. Yeah, it's not like a deep thing. Whereas now it's like, oh my gosh, see that and heard say, I was, yeah, I know mm -hmm. what you're saying. Or like, so and so said that and then they got this backlash, like all of this stuff. And I'm like, as long as you're not genuinely offending anyone, that is completely different. Yeah. If you are genuinely offending people. Of course. We're not like, oh my gosh, of course. But if there's like a joke that we make that we find funny or like, like we say, if you air some of your dirty laundry, whatever it may be, and you're airing it like because you choose to, yeah, and it's we all live in funny. glass houses. I think yeah. that is honestly my favourite phrase. I agree. Like everyone has their own, you know, problems or 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 whatever it is, or you know, whatever they want to keep to themselves. So like, who am I to throw stones at somebody else when I also live in a glass house? Yeah, yeah. YouTube's definitely changed. I don't know. Do you feel like as a viewer, YouTube changed? Yeah, that'd be interesting to know. Because we feel like as creators, it has. Yeah, massively. I hope we haven't as people, as in you know, we're still the same. But people evolve and you move forward and yeah, things. That's normal. We've grown up a Yeah, that's growth. That's natural. Yeah. But what I mean is like the way I, the way we approach this is the same. Yeah. But it's like, has the platform that we're posting on changed? Well, yeah, I, I feel like it has, but I would be interested if viewers the viewers feel the same or they think it hasn't. Or like notice people like us maybe being a little bit more reserved with what we share. A hundred percent. Like, did you prefer the content where there was just like nothing was held back? Yeah. You know, or do you understand why maybe like as we've got older as well, I don't even think it's just to do with the fact that maybe we didn't get as many people caring then. But I also do think it's it's age. Like as we've gone on this journey, we've obviously shared more of our life as well. Oh yeah. And it opens it up to like criticism. Opinions on your life. And I'm like, I literally just want to live my life and not have an opinion. Yeah. Because when I have an opinion on something like we've watched things today where i'm like oh i wouldn't say it like that or like mm, there's I, I feel this way about something but i will tell you i yeah. won't tell that person i won't tell like other people on the internet i won't publicly state it mm. for that person to see and clearly be offended by it mm. like because no one wants it i won't walk down the street and not like someone's scarf and say ew your scarf is disgusting Minging. i would never say that I well, do I get you. Because that's really mean. But like I said, if it's not my kind of vibe, I would just walk on. And I would, like, I do the same Yeah, I know. Because what, what do you get from saying that? Some what weird would you get kind. from saying, I don't like your scarf? You wouldn't get anything. They're not going to take it off in the middle of the street. And also, what what is that to you? You know, you've well, got to move forward. Yeah. It's a minor part of your day. I would personally go home and feel so bad yeah. for saying something like that to someone. I would feel horrific that I might have made that person's day really bad and, like, turned their mood yeah. to really happy to really I, totally, I do get seconds. that. I do get I that. I feel bad about that. It's really valid. But some people don't, clearly. Because we get all sorts of opinions, like... And it is part of the job, la la la, like, I do get that, and I get that that's the risk we take, but I still don't think it validates it, and it's not related, I've seen people relate it to the fact at work, you get critiqued, and you get reviews, Yeah, you get your boss yeah. tells you what you could be doing better, but your boss will never sit you down and go, I hate your hair, it looks disgusting, mm. you've put on weight, mm. all of this stuff. I don't know the way you live your life. Mm. Your boss will never say that to you. It will I, be I do agree with you. I do agree with you. I just, me? I do. I really do. I just have this weird thing of like, even though I might not like it, it is allowed. Oh, 100% allowed. I just can't understand what these people get from it. 
Yeah. Because I personally would feel so bad if I made someone sad. I, I just think just move on. Are you not busy? I think that's more what I think. Yeah, crazy. So I agree with you. Like, yeah, it's a bit of an unusual thing to do. I, what's, what kick do you get out of making somebody else miserable? But also, do you have the time? I don't know. I genuinely am like, oh my gosh, you must have so much free time on your hands. Yeah. Which, I mean, you know, more power to you, I guess. I don't know. It's, it is, it, it's so complicated and it's such, there are so many perks to it. Sorry, we've gone on a total tangent here. I don't really know what's going to end up in this video. So but what I mean is there are so many perks to, to this job and everything that we do. I so guess that is the real so. downfall. And if you're going to go into this industry and you want to do this, oh my God, by all means do it. But you just, you have to be someone that is very thick skinned. Yeah. You do. You have to be thick skinned. No matter what you, you, size you are as well. Like you could have 10 followers and someone would be mean to you. A hundred percent. Yeah. And also you, you've got to, as a person, this really is advice to like people, if you wanted to do this, you as a person need to decide what you do and don't consume. Whether it's blocking and deleting straight away. Um, and also what you put your value in. Yeah. And also what you value. If you're somebody that does value, if you're a comparative type person and you are someone that values people's opinions highly and you have maybe a lower self-esteem in the sense that you are constantly looking for, you know, clarity or, um, what's the word like someone to tell you like well done well done um, you know if you're, if you're looking for that sort of reassurance yeah reassure then it's probably again an, an industry where you you may you may not thrive yeah. just because you're not going to get that you're not going to get that you're not going to get constant reassurance you are going to get people saying but yeah. i think leading on from that we do sometimes and i would put emphasis i think 90 percent, 95 percent, 99 percent is nice and i think unfortunately it's like anything if you walked into a room and nine people said oh my god you look stunning i love your hair I love your dress yeah. whatever if one person out of nine one person out of nine said to you I hate your shoes yeah you'd focus or on that. i don't like the back of your dress yeah. or or whatever they don't like you would go home and you would say oh my god they didn't like this and they didn't yeah, like that yeah. but it was one out of nine yeah i would put emphasis on the fact that when you do get nice comments even if i get any comments at all my favorite part of this is the fact that people take the time to comment on Spencer, videos yeah. like a video, like to make themselves. Because I know that I've I watch so many people that I would. I'm a silent viewer. Yeah, we talk about this a lot. Comment on their videos. Yeah, but I will always. We like, like their myself, content. We just we I'm forget. With it. Yeah. yeah, like I don't watch. I watch so many people religiously that they have no idea I exist because I just never comment on their videos. But yeah. I will always like give the video a thumbs up because it's just like a really silent way, of an saying, anonymous like, way. Of, yeah. An, 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 yeah. Anonymous. anonymous, anonymous. Yeah. Anonymous. Like I'm, I'm saying, loving okay, yourself. Or, yeah. yeah, and it goes such, such a long like, way to the influencer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the odd message, no, you're right. Like that is the that is what makes my day. And it's it's things like that where you're like, that is exactly why I'm doing this. Because yeah. you can have five bad comments and think, I don't know if this is for me anymore. Like it's doing nothing but making me sad. And no yeah. one, I don't ever want to be sad in any part of my life, let alone your job. Yeah, like, but I I wonder job, what I, would... I wonder what people think. Are people disillusioned? I really am so curious about what people think because we are also consumers of the content. We yeah. are also religious YouTube watchers. We've never that's never been something that has changed about us. We like, loved YouTube before we started YouTube. Yes, and yeah. we still love it now. And some people get into this job and they don't or they lose a passion for it, like as in watching it or being a viewer or whatever. No, we still we're still fans of so many Obsessed. people. We're like watching YouTube now. Like it's on the Yeah. TV. Like we yeah, it's literally up there. <laughs> so, you know, we are we like to view content and watch content but i definitely feel that i've noticed a shift in it yeah and i've noticed something different and i just wonder if anyone else has i think it's just it's all become a bit of an odd industry whether that's the mainstream media that's decided to sort of like i think it's that i think you it's know people getting into it because they want to make money yeah which TikTok, is fine everything's changed it people get into all, all sorts of businesses because they want yeah. to make money but at the same time i think the the thing that i love about youtube is the fact that there is genuine people on this platform that you can just relate to mm. that you can just watch you and i hope them. that content will continue to be popular They're honest though. yeah those videos where they are 20 30 minute advice videos or rambles or vlogs or something really personal i do hope that content continues to be popular i just fear that we're consuming so much short form content i agree if someone doesn't hook us within five seconds you we are. x out the video yeah it's peculiar i know see i'm I'm not we don't but i just mean yeah, generally so people are like that gosh look at us i don't know what just happened do you know what this leads on to the next question podcast wow there's a snippet <laughs> that, yeah blooming heck <laughs> but this is what poor this is you what talk about. <laughs> yeah decide if you want to watch it because 
no right a lot of people think that we were not let's let's address the elephant in the room a lot of people are like we, they're not doing it anymore they're not doing the podcast we are we are we are we are we i i i'm gonna speak for myself instead of we sorry we're not it's one uh, I do that. Oh, one. <laughs> okay. I was totally consumed last year by buying a house in June. I was here loads. I was just so focused on my house. Like, here, I had a lot there. going on. Like, yeah, yeah, between me, my mum's and me. And, like, I'm still not there. But, like, I'm in a much more comfortable place Grand. than I was. Yeah. And it just was, like, a lot. Then I don't know what happened from September to December. But September came. And next minute, I swear to you, it was Christmas. It was New Year. And we had not, we we were like, what? Yeah. The last few months of last year, gone. Really gone and quick. And now it's a new year. So, you know, look, I'm not making any promises because I've learned my, from my mistakes that that doesn't work out. But, yeah, I feel like I've really done it on here and just making up the podcast so much. But it is something that we want to do. I think we just have this almost nervousness, to be perfectly honest with you, about it being so perfect and yeah. it being great the first time round. Well, no, you learn. You do yeah. different things in life and you learn from those things. So we might put it out and there might it be might things be that go shocking. wrong. And there might be things that we don't like. But that's the whole point. And we need to get over that and just give you guys something. Yeah. And so see how you feel about it. It is definitely something. We're just trying to figure out the logistics of it at the moment. Yes. That like the real particulars of like where it's gonna happen. Which we're sorting out. What next it's week. gonna happen and all of that, like real like just logistics and once we've got that figured out i think things will move a lot quicker yeah and it will literally and i say that because it will literally be like us chatting about our thoughts our opinions we have very different opi opinions, opinions on loads of things which and i, I love interesting yeah i don't ever want us to sit there and be like i'm just gonna agree with her because she's my best friend like that's no, not how we roll that's we not how humans are yeah no, it's not how gen general conversations in the real world outside world happen like you're never gonna constantly agree with people that's just that's crazy yeah like a hundred percent great if that happens for you but it doesn't it doesn't even happen in our relationship yeah so we want to just cover all sorts of topics like literally just chat with you guys hopefully you can feel like you're kind of there with us and just having a big old conversation and about like major things that we don't talk about on our youtube channels like, yeah but that we talk about in our private like time like time. we do talk about feminism in our private time yeah. like our private time but i just mean like off the internet off the off like the we do talk about maybe like more triggering controversial big topics that people are a little bit like oh we'll just stay clear of that because i do fashion yeah. and beauty or, ma or makeup or whatever your field is no you're a human being you're allowed to communicate about whatever the heck you want yeah, like so there are loads of things i feel like we talk about on the phone that we don't talk about on youtube for fear of people's opinions yeah whereas this is um, like and i just thing. think that's going to be entirely different space I, I don't feel fearful of people's opinions i welcome people's opinions yeah on, on that space yeah 100 percent. so yeah a little bit of like a synopsis mm -hmm. of like what you can kind of expect from it or what our thoughts and feelings are for now is we want to have topics so we've got like loads of topics that we've personally written down that we'd love to cover yeah and literally just like have that really overriding topic and just talk about absolutely everything to do with it yeah um in a few of the episodes and then we also do want to have episodes that are like more of a girl talk or not even a girl talk but just like a general chat with you guys so you can send in like an email or even a yeah like instagram dm we're gonna yeah. have an instagram page and stuff like that and you can ask questions or dilemmas or whatever it may be and we're gonna sit with a glass of wine what we do best yeah I've literally done it today like and have a chit chat and yeah. yeah just chat like have a girls night in yeah um so kind of a mix of those two formats yeah yeah totally it'll be quite fun that's basically the outline of how we want things to work mm -hmm. and it's trial and error like we said and it's just seeing how things go we'll figure out um, We'll give you something. And if you love it, you love it. And you know, if you hate it, we learn, we move. You don't like it, we get it. It's like there's something else of us that you might like. Yeah, it's not, it, you know, don't know. What? Hopefully there's something else. Hopefully you like us. No, <laughs> Please I mean, like us. I meant like other content that we No, a hundred percent. Yeah, on another, like yeah. Us, if you're not, a, if you're not yeah. a podcast person and you're like, whoa, that's too much. It's fair. Like, I love it. But, you know, for some people, they're great. Workouts, yeah. in the car, on the way to work, whatever. You're at uni, all those things. Uni makeup, yeah. So we'll give it a go and we'll see what you guys think. And we do chat. And we, I just want to feel, like, 100% authentic. I think, for me, that's so important. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I don't feel like that, because I, I am 100% authentic. But I definitely don't overshare. And I don't share. 
Yeah, I think there's always going to be a filter. Like, yeah. You can be so authentic and then you find yourself getting to, an, to a point where you're like, oh, actually, yeah. You know, and why not? not? Like, let's just this. speak as we would with our friends. Like, yeah. let's just speak totally, you know, how we want and see how people, like, perceive that. Yeah. Obviously, we're not going to be. A, I mean, it sounds like we're going to say something ridiculous here. Yeah, come, on, come out and say we're in, we're both ex convicts. No, no but I just mean I'm someone's saying. opinion might be entirely different. Yeah, but that's the plan of the podcast. So it is like, coming. A lot of people are saying, "How do you keep your friendship with a long distance?" Hmm, that's a good, I think that's a relatively good question because we don't live yeah. around the corner. I just don't think about it. I just chat to you all the freaking time. I think I'm, I'm a bit. Hey, yeah, M M's good. M's really good with communication. I'm not. It's not one of my strong points i've always said that but then i'm also not i'm so i'm good with communication when it matters yeah like if i feel like something's wrong i'll be like hey i just think i'm one of those people that i could honestly not see someone that i value in my life for two years for whatever reason they've gone off to you know i don't know Netherlands. The, the south pole and they said the snow pole <sighs> and like when they walked in the door, I would be like, you're right, do you want a cup of coffee? Like, yeah, it's it not so really, normal. the fact that there's been time or distance doesn't really affect me no. as much. Like, if something's gone on, then yes, but I just mean things like that don't really bother me. I don't know. I think there's definitely, we've said this before, there's definitely friendships where you rely on seeing each other. Like, yes. when you have good times together, like, a lot of friendships and relationships, like, go, yeah, yeah. partner to partner, a lot of people, I think, thrive off being in each other's company. Yeah. Whereas some just don't need that all the time. Yeah. I think I think we also go through what everyone forgets is like we then spend like intense periods of time yeah. together where like because we don't live together, uh, live near each other, we're then living together in a way like if that makes sense. Yeah. It's like three days really full on or da 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 like whatever. So and I'd like it sounds so weird because we're friends, not a couple, but like as in to have each other's undivided attention. Yeah, like, exactly. We're like, right, we're like it's just, just the two of us. I barely touch my phone when I'm here. Yeah, that's what I mean. And we focus on each other. Each other. Than us, like. So, I don't know. I mean, I think... I don't, I don't think about it because I don't find it that much of an effort. I think it would be a lot more difficult if we worked Monday to Friday, 9 to 6. Yeah. I'm fully conscious of that fact. I don't want people yeah. to think that, like, oh, they've lost sight of... You know, yeah. That but would then make what things we're more doing difficult. now wouldn't be any different to us doing it on the weekend. No, but it's just making time. And yeah. it, it depends what you have else on in your life mm -hmm. at that point in order to then make that time. But you will make time for people that you deem important. Yeah. And, I think, yeah, like communication, reaching out. And we relate on a lot of things. Yeah. Like we have a lot of things in common. Yeah. We obviously work together. Like, there's a lot exactly. of things that hold us together. So anyway. even if, like, we haven't spoken about personal life in a few days, like, there'll be a work issue or something that, that we'll talk about. Oh, my God. Interesting. A quality of the other person you wish you could have. Mm -hmm. I love these questions because I just find them so fascinating. Okay. I think you're very... A quality of yours that I, I probably think I wish I could have more so is that you're very... Um, in tune to other people's emotions yeah and like say we went out and we were in a bar or we were in a restaurant and like i went quiet suddenly or mm. saw something on my phone or someone did something and i just suddenly was just a bit more reserved i think within two minutes you'd go you're right yeah. you're very in tune to like what someone else is you know yeah. that's very thoughtful yeah sometimes i hate it because it drives me nuts because sometimes you want to relax and enjoy your time well, also and not be like thinking about then if you were like a bit down or like worried or anything like that then part of me becomes that yeah because you're taking on other, somebody else's emotions which is fine i i don't, like genuinely don't have an issue with doing that i love doing that um i love the fact that i do have that because i want to be that person but then at the same time if it's like say i'm in a group of like six people and they're all freaking worried i've got yeah. like six halves of do you, know you what I mean? being like whoa yeah. I, this is a rather lot. than when it's one or two people i can deal with that yeah but sometimes i'm like but, but I think it's a good trait that just sort of like just observing, like yeah, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Kind of a bit of a random one, but I thought I'd go for something a bit different. <laughs> See, you know, because we've done. I'm sure we've done this before. I feel like mine is like insensitive compared to that. But I'd I'd nick your work ethic. Really? Yeah. You God, are. I've lo I lost it in just you December. Are a hard I went. <laughs> yeah, but when you, like when you're on when it. When I'm on a work, yeah. You are on it. Yeah. Like. It doesn't matter That's what true. comes up. You're like, I've got to get this done. I will get it done. Yeah. Whereas I'm like, oh, I've got to get that done, but it can wait. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really bad. Like, You've been amazing so today. We've been on it. So both of us have been on we it. We have. Today. We really have. So you know, you've been were you vlogging earlier or that? Yeah. Got wow. I've done four videos today. See. Christ. So where there's a will, there's a way. But I know what you mean. That's all. You are just really like, on it. You have a good work. Phases, I think. I just have phases. I've only ever seen you working. <laughs> That's why I took time off in December because I was like, do you know what? I actually really want a holiday. Yeah, I just like, bye everyone. Yeah. 
See you later. Literally, I didn't didn't speak on my stories for literally two weeks. Right, okay. I think we're gonna leave this video here because I think it has got way really too long, long for Emily's edit. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. We have literally just sat here, scoffed our faces, mm. and chatted mm. like we usually do. It was really lovely. Mm. Thanks mm. for being on the channel. Thanks for having me. I hope mean, you guys enjoyed. Yeah, honestly. Our rambles. <laughs> our full on rambles. If you're someone, by the way, that watches these videos through to end, really Love appreciate you. you. Yeah. <laughs> I always think that. Like, really value you as a human. Mm -hmm. like, I'm usually that person when, you know when a YouTuber's like, if you're still here, do that. I'm like, I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still same. here. I'm like, in the corner doing something in the room, like. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to leave George's link down below, and we will see you very soon in mm. a new video. Hopefully. Yeah. Bye, guys.